what five things could be improved for the Spyro Reignited Trilogy? Let's find out. What's up guys, Canadian Guy A here and back with a video talking about the Reignited Trilogy. Now, almost every video I have done, I have sung praises of the Reignited Trilogy. I love just about everything so far. However, with the utmost respect that I have for Toys for Bob and the work that they were doing for Spyro, there are some critiques and areas that I think need to be improved. And I'm not the only one either. I talked with other fellow Spyro tubers, Jordan Fringe, Josh Gaming, Mechanizer8, and a few Spyro Twitter folks like Spyro Universe and Miss Sadie. I then read a lot of your comments in my comment section and on Twitter, and I think we have put together a small list of critiques that most of us would agree on. However, I need to make it clear that if none of these changes happen, it would not ruin the entire game. These are simply changes that I feel would improve the game overall. Now I'm going to hit the honorable mention right away before we get into the list. That mention is the music. The reason why I have this here is because a lot of people are split on the music. Some love the little tidbits that we have heard so far, some not so much. But in a previous video that I made, I mentioned the fact that if they were to put in toggleable music to switch between the remaster tracks and the original, that it would make everyone happy. With that out of the way, let's dive into the top 5 critiques for the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Number 5. The Booty Swish. Now some of you might be a tad confused by this. Now it's not the Norks mooning you, I can't critique them yet because well, we haven't even seen them. But what we have seen is a flying level and areas where Spyro glides a longer distance. Now there is a small little detail removed in the remaster that was in the original that was adorable. Spyro's booty swish. While Spyro was flying or gliding, he would have a small booty shake as he flew and personally, I thought it was kind of cute. But in the Reignited Trilogy, it seems that at the moment they have it kind of removed. Now, this won't ruin the game at all, but I think it's a nice cute little touch if they were able to get back his little booty shake. They have changed animation quite a bit due to fan requests, one of them being Spyro's tail animation as he ran. So if they can adjust this, I think they can somehow incorporate the booty swish into his flight. Number 4. Gem Counter. So one of the biggest topics that a lot of people have been talking about is the HUD in the Reignited Trilogy, but more specifically, the gem counter. The look itself looks too two-dimensional, when before it was 3D. The icon for the gem just doesn't look quite right and looks like they missed the mark a little bit. Also, the gem counter is quite a bit off for me. See, when you grab a gem now, the text does this popping animation that's not quite my cup of tea. It's too cartoony and cheesy. I think that if we went back to the way the original had it, with the gem counter counting up in a roulette style, it would be a lot more fitting, and personally, I think that that style of counting is a lot more satisfying. Number 3. The Gem Chime so there was this magical sound effect whenever you collected gems in the game. It was this gorgeous chime-like sound effect that sounded amazing. Now from what we have seen, it's a little bit quiet and seems a touch off. The sound doesn't really resonate quite as well as before. Now, it still sounds really nice, don't get me wrong, so maybe it's simply a volume issue, where all they need to do is turn it up a little bit, but I think it needs a bit more of that magic chime sound that we all know and love. Number 2. Twilight Harbor Okay, so remember how I said I talked with Jordan Fringe? I know he covered number 2 and number 1 in his videos, but I still want to get it out there and share my thoughts even though they are incredibly similar. Jordan had shot some b-roll at E3. During one of the shots, we see bits of Twilight Harbor, but with a change to one of the Norks. The Norks now shoot a purple gooey sludge instead of real bullets. Now, of course, Toys for Bob went on to say that they wanted to keep it all kid-friendly, which I understand, I get where they're going with it, but the bullets look too 
Splatoony. It's literally goop. Now, Josh Gaming on Twitter had suggested that perhaps as a compromise, they could change the goop to be less, well, goopy, and change the colors to a yellowy orange, which would be more matching to the original, which I 100% agree with. I feel that it would be a fairly good compromise, but still begs the question as to why they can't keep it as guns. As Jordan Fringe pointed out, in Crash Bandicoot, we had a boss with a giant Tommy gun shooting at Crash with him hiding under furniture terrified for his life. Crash was rated E10 and up. So is Toys for Bob going for strictly E rating? It's possible, but I think there could be a compromises made for it to still work. Like maybe change it from a Splatoon gun to more of a paintball gun, or make the bullets look more like cannonballs. I think there's a lot of wiggle room here to just keep it at an E rating. Number one. The Egg Thief. Once again, I know Jordan covered this, but I want to cover it myself and give my thoughts. My problem is not the Egg Thief designs itself, but the main thing that makes our eye twitch every single time we hear it, the voice. Here, let me play you the voice a few times so you can get a good ear for it. Okay, now let's take a listen to the original voice. Now this is a hugely needed change in my opinion. The Egg Thief's voice was an iconic sound that drove you insane when you heard it. But the sound of this one is just not quite there. It sounds like they replaced the N's with M's and made the pitch deeper. It's just not really fitting in my humble opinion. Now some people have said they like it and some are not really bothered by it. But I know there are also a lot of people saying that they wish they could have the original sound or at least for the sound to be adjusted to be closer to the original. Other sound effects like the spiral life and the crystallized dragon shake was nailed so perfectly that for the egg thief to not be quite there is a bit jarring. I think however with a little bit of finessing they can improve the voice to sound closer to the original. Thanks so much for watching, cue the extra.